Welcome to the channel guys. Uh, I gotta do this video inside because it's too windy out and the gnats are too bad and it's a bad time of the day. There's no good place for light. Uh, it's been a rough day. It's been a really rough day. Uh, so I wanted to come on here and let you guys know what's going on and the choices that I made. Uh, has to do with the dog I have that I just buried. And uh, all I ask is I'm going to explain to you some things. And in the comments, I don't need to hear that I should have tried this, should have tried that. I've tried everything. Okay. I've been doing this a long time. Okay. I'm with these dogs 365 days a year. I don't go anywhere. I know all of my dogs. And I would just ask you to respect that. Uh, last night, I went to put Libby up. Uh, sometimes she's had that dog house outside she'll get in there she refuses to come out so I'll wait and you know when she's outside she has the cable on and I'll explain why she had all that here in a minute but let me explain to you what happened okay so I wait until she goes in on her own she goes in her kennel gets in her dog house I just shut the gate the worst that ever happens is she might get wrapped around a pole with the cables long enough where she can still get into either one of her dog houses. as well. That's what happened last night. And I came out later just to see if she was, see what kind of mood she was in, see if I could just get that cable off of her. And she just started a ferocious barking growl. So I left her alone. And that's not nothing unusual for her. She don't want to be bothered. She didn't want to be bothered. So I left her alone. So this morning I go in, it's always the first thing, if she has a cable on, she's always the first thing I check on, and she was in her doghouse, it wasn't wrapped on anything. And so I came in, I usually stand there for a minute until she wakes up, she come walking out, is same as she always does, you know, I, nothing looked unusual to me. So I walked over, and I reached down, and I took the cable off of her. And then uh, I had to run to town, so I start, I turn around to go back to the gate, and she just attacks me. I mean, attacks me bad. And it went on for a while. Uh, she she got me on there. She got chunks out of my, not chunks, I've got bite marks in my leg and on my backside. Uh, and it ain't the first time, okay? But she's never acted that bad. Um, she backed me off into the corner. And she was coming at me with all she had. I actually tried to climb onto that huge doghouse I built to get away from her. And then, as soon as it's you know, as, as soon as it started, then it, it, it ended that quickly. She ran back into her barrel, and I got out. And it was then I, you know, what are you gonna do? You know, she can't. <clears throat> she can't go to another home. She can't go to somebody else. I, I've ran out of options with her. You know, if I can't handle one of my dogs, if I can't get near them, if I'm afraid to get it near them, well, I mean, the only other option with her would have been <coughs> to keep her in the kennel and never let her out. And I'm not going to do that because you still got to feed them. You still got to clean up after them. And nobody could come over. She would just bark. Not, I mean, for the, for the people that have came to my house, you guys, if you're watching this, you know. Uh, she tried to bite Lindsay. Lindsay was over here with Drew, and she tried to bite her one time. Uh, I told people, be very leery of her. You never know when she's going to snap. And she's always been that way, and it just gradually got worse. It's like people, you know. People go wrong, go get sick up in their mind, and that's that's probably what happened to her. Uh, I didn't have any of the other options, and honestly, I didn't even think I was going to be able to get her into the vet, and I. I thought I was gonna I was prepared to do it myself and uh, I couldn't do it I actually went out there and I couldn't do it I don't have it in me you know I don't even like shooting uh, possums and things like that I don't like taking any lives that's why I don't hunt you know but it went well and then I had the appointment for her. Of course, she wouldn't come out of the doghouse, and just so happened Jeff pulled in the driveway. And she likes Jeff. Well, she came out and barked at him a little bit. 
<clears throat> but I didn't want Jeff to get near her, not today. And uh, I was able to get the, <coughs> oh, sorry guys, I me. I was able to get the leash on her, get her in the truck. Uh, all she thought was it was gonna be another ear appointment. She goes to the vet so many times for an ear appointment. She didn't know any different. And uh, I didn't, after it happened, I, I gave it about an hour, went back out, acted like nothing happened, let her out. She got to spend the day outside. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't, even after what she's done and how hard she's been of a dog to take care of, I still loved her, you know. I had that dog almost nine years. And uh, she she was going to be put down when I got her the next day. And I drove to Oklahoma and picked her up. And she's got almost nine more years. So she was about 11, 10 or 11. Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to look. I, I think, I know I got her in November. But I think it was either 14 or 15. But, I mean, either way, I've had her a while. Never really, you know, we'd find a routine that worked with her. But then you still, you know, I learned you don't go up to her doghouse and you do not mess with her food. She's attacked Tilly, Millie, they learn. They don't go over there. Uh, why should you have to deal with something like that? And all of my dogs that I rescued had troubled backgrounds, but there was something embedded in her. What I don't know. I mean, she could not get along with other animals, so therefore I couldn't. You know, I find these things out after I have her. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take her back. Uh, so I just found routines that worked with her, and for years they they worked. But she just, I think, you know, who knows what's going on in that mind? Uh, it just got to the point where I mean, there was no other option today, and I don't care what anybody says, unless you know that dog like I knew it, like I knew her. There was no other option. No other option I wanted to do. Uh, you can't rehome a dog that is bits that, that it, and believe me, I, I have rehabbed bite dogs. Most of the time it's children that have teased a dog or somebody has abused them. That's when you get your bite dog. But something different was going on with her. I mean, she was the sweetest dog. But if you got around her area, if you got her out of here, like to the vet, totally different dog but that doesn't work for me so i got back about 45 minutes ago she's buried um guys i mean i, I, I what else what else could i have done and the reason i you know i, I want to tell you guys about it is it's not always easy raising dogs and it's not that i'm over you know that i have too many I know all my dogs, and I, you know what I do for them. I mean, I want two's got an apartment. Uh, it hurt. It hurt. Uh, taking a perfectly healthy dog to get put down, you know, healthy physically. So. Uh, the, what I would say is I wanted to tell you guys because that's part of my channel you guys know all my dogs and and I can't pretend like nothing happened you're gonna be people are gonna soon ask well how come you don't show Libby no more well so I'm being honest and uh, I don't want to go on too much longer I just wanted you guys to know that not always you know it's not always uh, cute puppies and you know, lollipops it's not and I know somebody's going to get on here and then they're going to probably, get, I'll probably lose some subscribers, but you know, before you unsubscribe to me, I want you to tell me what would you have done? And you know, what would you have done different? She got, she, you know, she got put down humanely. She didn't know what was going on. And if she did, she didn't show it. It went really well. Didn't last long at all. And uh, we'll see her again. I believe that so I've been through a lot of stuff the last couple months so all right guys thought I'd let you know happy trails